And then for as far as flow is concerned, just to be now I, I talked to athletes about this, you know. How do you like talk to I talked to Isaiah about this, Isaiah Thomas said, when you out there, when you scored that 50 points in that game, going through all the stuff that you went through at the, with the Celtics, and you scored that that those points, what was going on in your head, man? How do you and he did the same thing in high school when he was he scored like 60 points in high school in the state championship game. You know what I'm saying? And shot like 90 percent What's going on when that's what's going on? He said. And and I talked to, you know, I worked with Kevin Durant too. He said the same thing. The high level athletes, they, you know, like a Kevin Durant, all the millions of people watching. Then you got a massive amount of people in the stadium in in the, in, the, in the arena watching. You got a basketball court with some guys that wanted to stop you. You know what I'm saying? And you just everything's flowing. And to be in that flow, it's all about preparation, obviously. You gotta prepare yourself to be in that in that state. And you, and you have to build yourself to be in that place to even be on that court. But you have to be aware, completely aware, and completely mindful, but in aware 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 in a certain place where nothing else nothing else exists but what you gotta do. If that makes any sense. Nothing else exists but my performance. But you have to be aware. You have to be zoned out. You have to be aware of your 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 body, your mind and your body. People think the mind and the body is separate. They're one and the same. They can't you can't do one without the other. So our mind and the body, you gotta be aware of that. And the next next level, we gotta be aware of uh, energy. Energy is really important, man. The vibration that we we emit and what other people emit. We have to be humble. At the same time, we have to be fearless. Knowing that everything's gonna be okay. When you're out there going playing hoop and you're going to the rack, and this big seven foot guy standing there that's 290 pounds, he's right there, and you gotta run through him, you can't be afraid. If I'm catching a ball and, and a DB is about to blast me, I can't be afraid. We have to be humble and we have to be confident in ourselves. You know what I mean? And we have to, you know, build ourselves, maximize ourselves, help other people maximize themselves, open up your open up yourself to allow other people to help you become to maximize yourself, to share. Um, we have to you know, be aware of our mind and body. We have to be aware of the energy around us. We have to be uh, aware of our goals and our purpose. And we can't be afraid to die. We can't be afraid to die, man. You know what I'm saying? Just do the best we can. If it comes down to that, we, you just know you did the best you can. Everybody else know you did the best you can. There's no, there's no sad feeling. There's no regret. That makes any sense. Yeah. Just leave something behind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just leave something behind. Don't just take. Don't just take, 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 and then try to take it away with you. You know what I'm saying? You know, reciprocate and give and love and 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 and, and maximize.